Okay, this is uh, lab 37.4 open loop tuning. Um, this is the workbook uh, page 212 over on the right hand side of your screen and this is from page 442 in your textbook with the equations on the left hand side of your screen. Uh, so what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to use uh, Ziegler Nichols to tune, uh, calculate recommended tuning values for a proportional integral controller. Keep that in mind. That proportional integral controller means we will be using these equations right here. This will be the equation for a proportional. This will be the equation for a PID controller. But we are just doing proportional integral uh, controllers. So what is the recommended gain? Gain is K. If you remember from the chapter, and so we're trying to find K. 0.9 is a constant. We're given that. Uh, change in CV, delta CV uh, is right here, 53 and 42, so we know that L is given to us uh, right here. And then R is something that we have to find, uh, delta PV over delta T. Delta PV is the same as the delta CV in this case. Not, not always the case, but in this example uh, it is. And so uh, we found the L and the delta T by finding the inflection point here. Uh, and using that inflection point uh, to draw a line tangent to that. And that is the distance between uh, where we made the change at time zero until we start to see this uh, tangent line cross over, uh, intersect that uh, all the way up to the top here. Uh, so that's where these two numbers, L and delta T, came from. Okay, and so then we go ahead and plug those numbers uh, into our equation. The first thing we have to find is this R. Okay, uh, again, R is the uh, rate of change or the slope of this line. So that's basically what we're doing here is we're finding the slope of the line uh, for R, which would be the change. Uh, and the CV, so rise over run. Basically, it's how you find the slope of any line. Uh, and that's where we get the rise over the run here. So that's the first thing we have to do. Uh, R is 11, 53 minus 42, over 1.75, which is uh, from basically 1.25 until 3. And that gives us 6.2857. Um, and so we plug that into our equation for K. Uh, see, so 0.9 was a constant. That's our delta C V right there. Uh, our L uh, times R, and we end up with 1.575 or 1.56, depending on how you want to round that. Uh, that is the answer for number one. And then uh, the um, recommended integral time is very simple. 3.33 uh, times L. Again, L is given to us. It's the time that we made the process change. That's the time that we entered the value. Uh, it's time zero until uh, R actually, uh, the slope of this line crossed over our initial uh, starting point, which is right here, and that gave us a value of 1.25 minutes. Uh, and so we just take the 3.33 times the 1.25 to give us an answer of 4.16 uh, for that one. Okay. And that is how you do uh, this particular lab. Let me know if you have any questions after this.